Hey guys, it's Dave and welcome back to Everyday Geek TV and this is a big milestone video for us. This is our 500th video. We've been doing this for almost two years. Uh, April will be our two years at YouTube and this is our 500th video. Super excited, can't wait to get into it. I'm going to have 25 toy unboxings. We got Funko Pops. We have exclusive pops. We have Funko exclusive Dorbs. We have NECA figures, Disney Infinity, WWE Leech, just a bunch of stuff. We're gonna get into it. Just wanna thank all of our subscribers, our fans, fellow YouTubers that have been there, whether it be from day one or you know a week or two ago. Uh, we appreciate all you guys' support, um, your comments, your likes, your shares, your retweets and, and, and follows on Twitter and likes on Facebook and Instagram and everything. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, when Lauren and I started this, uh, we never thought that anybody would really be interested in our stuff. We were just doing it as a father-daughter thing. It has evolved into a little bit more than that now. And almost two years in, this is our 500th video. Let's get into it. We've got a lot of unboxings to do, and I want to get through it. Don't want to have a super long video, uh, but it might be a little, a little long. Uh, but let's get into it. We'll get into some Funko Pops that I picked up at my local Hot Topic when I had Hot Cash a couple weeks ago. Picked up a bunch. Let's get into it. We'll first start with some Disney ones I got. And the first one we'll start with is number 228 in the Disney line. It is Princess Ada from A Bug's Life. All right, there she is, Princess Ada. And um, I love it. It's a cute little pop. I love the Disney Pops. They, they look just like the characters in the movies. They're, they're very uh, colorful and just really awesome looking. I love the Disney. I love Disney in general. And I love the Disney Pops. Probably one of my favorite lines of uh, Pops. And this is cute. I uh, haven't seen The Bug's Life in a long time. Do love the ride at Animal Kingdom, the show, um, the attraction. So I will bring it in close. There she is. And she's got her little base. The little wings. Very cute. Next up from uh, A Bug's Life also that I got is number 227. It is Flick. The only one I haven't been able to find yet is Heimlich. I wasn't able to find him. All right, so there is Flick. Super cute. Love the blue on, um, on his body. Uh, the green with the hat and the backpack. That's really a nice looking pop. Again, Disney, love it, awesome. We'll bring it in close. There he is, there's Flick, very cool. Another Disney one I picked up is from The Little Mermaid, number 236. It is Sebastian. Haven't been able to find Flounder yet, but grab Sebastian. That is so cute, there he is. That's a cute little pop, I like that. that that's exactly what I would think Sebastian would look like in a pop form, very cute. Nice shades of, uh, different shades of red for um, his shell and his uh, face. Very cute. That's a cute Sebastian right there. There's Sebastian. Oh, that's, that's a super cute pop. Now if I could just find Flounder, that would be awesome. Uh, from the Disney line number 240, it is Gaston from The Beauty and the Beast. Oh, and there's Gaston. He looks awesome. He looks really great. I love the black hair. They got it in the ponytail. He looks all muscular and tough. He's got the red and yellow, the yellow gloves on, the red shirt with the yellow collar, his belt, his, in the back you see the uh, arrows. He's got his boots. That, that's a nifty little pop. That looks like Gaston. That's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. Bring it in close here for you. There's Gaston. There's the ponytail. Very good. The next one in the Beauty and the Beast line I picked up is number 239. It is the Beast. This is an awesome, heavy pop. This is so cool. It was the last one they had at the Hot Topic. And, um, you know, I can see on the back he's got a little glue. I, I could work on that little glue stuck there. I could get that off. Um, otherwise, this is an awesome pop. This is so much cooler than that first initial Beast pop they have, which I do have. Um, that was very boring, very bland. Uh, this is very good. It's heavy. It's detailed. It's big. It takes up most of that box. Um, I could have even seen them do a six inch in the Beast. That would have been really neat. Uh, but this is cool. He's holding a little bluebird. He's got a yellow uh, 
looks like a yellow, is that a yellow bird or a duck on his head? Probably a bird. But that is really detailed. I like that a lot. That's probably one of, up there is one of my uh, favorite pops. Really nice. Bring it in close. I'll show you guys up close. Look at that. There he is, holding the bird. There's a bird on his head. Detail. There's that little spot of glue I told you about. I can get that off. That's a really awesome pop. I like that a lot. If you're a Disney fan, you collect pops, you gotta get this one. This is awesome. And then we'll get into my one of my first Hot Topic exclusives I got. It is from that Beauty and the Beast line. It's number 241. It is Belle. And it's Belle unhooded, and she's holding the two birds. And there she is, looking all cute. She's holding the two birds, the blue and yellow. She's got her uh, different shade of like maroon and pink uh, winter outfit on. Uh, this is really cute. Again, I love the Disney pops. They're just awesome. Bringing clothes for you guys, there she is. There's Belle with the birds. All right, next up, uh, out of the Disney uh, realm for right now, I'm gonna go with one I picked up. Uh, this is, I think this was the last one I needed for my DC Legends of Tomorrow collection. It's number 381, it's Firestorm. I love this pop. I, I knew when I saw it in the store, I loved it, I had to get it. Uh, it's just finding the right one, uh, and this one seems to be in good shape. He's got the fire coming out of his palms, he's got the fire on the head, and it's like that translucent, like you can kind of see through it. Um, orange and yellow, very detailed. I love the outfit. That looks like uh, Firestorm from, from the show. That is really cool. And I love when they do this with the hair and stuff. Something different. There he is. Firestorm, look at that hair. And he's got the, the fireballs in his hands. Very cool. Next up I got in the, I guess, the Pop Rocks line. It's number 50 from Guns N' Roses. It is Axl Rose. They didn't have Slash or Duff, so I have to look for those, but they had Axl, so I grabbed him. Yeah, this is awesome. That is really cool. That looks like Axl Rose. That's great. He's got the microphone in his hand. The microphone stand also. He's got his tattoo. That's cool. That's Axl Rose, baby. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. And there he is. There is Axl Rose. Very cool. Very detailed. That is pretty cool. I like that. I like how they have him holding the mic stand. Like he's about to, he's like like he's rocking out. That's that's awesome. I like the rock lines. I wish they would have more. All right. Next up, I'm going to get into. I'll get into this big one here. I got a six inch uh, pop I got at Hot Topic with my hot cash as well. This is from Aliens. It's the 346. I finally did it. I finally got it. It looks awesome. It is the Alien Queen. Oh my God, this is awesome. Wow. Now I know I'm gonna have fellow YouTubers and people and fans and subscribers that are watching this that might not be into pops, but if you are a fan of like Alien, You've got to get this. This is an awesome pop. It is just really detailed, heavy. The head is huge. Oh, man. They got all the arms, the legs, the long tail going around. That is an... That's an awesome... That's an awesome freaking pop right there. That is fantastic. I'm going to bring it in close. Look at that up close, guys. Look at that. Look at the detail. Look at that. The tail going all the way around. If you are not a pop fan, but you like aliens, like you love aliens or horror stuff, you have to grab this. This is an awesome, awesome pop. Awesome. All right, next up, let's get into the Hot Topic exclusives I got. Uh, first, we'll start from Preacher. Uh, I got number 368. It is the uh, Bloody Cassidy. And there he is. There's Cassidy covered in blood. Cassidy, if you watch Preacher, is like a, I guess, a, like a vampire of sorts. Um, there he is, covered in blood. He's holding a bottle of some type of alcohol. Can't tell what it says, but that that's cool. You know, I like, Preacher was cool. There it is, I'll bring him close so you get a better look at it. There he is. Nothing major, but I do like to show Preacher, and I like the pops. They look cool, so I figured I'd pick them up. All right, this next set of uh, pops that I got, the exclusives, are pops that they had at Hot Topic in those hidden boxes months ago. Now I guess they had so many of them, now they just have them out. So the first one I picked up is number 362 from the pop movies, Beetlejuice. It is the Beetlejuice wearing the clothes that, um, oh, what is Alec Baldwin's character's name? I don't remember. But there you go, there's Beetlejuice in the uh, outfit with the black and uh, 
white checkered shirt. He's got on the khaki pants, the, ca the little brown shoes. Really cool. I love Beetlejuice, so had to get that. There he is up close. Sounds like something's broken him. You get it? Huh. Interesting. That's a super exclusive one. I like to see them do a couple more from this movie. Too. I like to see them do like uh, when Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin's characters they make those like you know faces to scare them. I like to see those in full form pops. I know they did them in the mystery minis, but I like to see them in full form pops. Uh, who else can they could have? Um, I like to see maybe a six inch of the sandworms. You know, that was pretty cool. I like to see them do more with the Beetlejuice line, but that's awesome. Except for that. Was annoying. The next Hot Topic exclusive one I picked up was from Hellraiser 3, number 360. It is the Glow in the Dark Pinhead. And this is awesome. And I can't wait to be able to have this out around Halloween time and it glows in the dark. Yeah, baby. Just like the other uh, Pinhead, which is an awesome pop. They have all the, the pins here, which is really cool. It feels really awesome. He's, um, he's standing there. You know, he's got his arms crossed, but he glows in the dark. So that must look really cool when it's uh, glowing. That's awesome. From Hellraiser 3, Glow in the Dark, Hot Topic Exclusive, Funko Pop. All right, moving along. Next up from, uh, it was a Hot Topic Exclusive. This is from the Pop Movies. It's Friday the 13th, number 361. It is Jason Voorhees. There he is wearing the blue uh, like jumpsuit type of thing. He's got his knife, all blood on it, the mask. Um, in the back, you see like all the bumps and everything, little strands of hair. Kind of, kind of look like the back of like Charlie Brown's head without the bumps. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Maybe it is like Charlie Brown's head they put on there and just put the mask on it. Bring it up close, show you guys up close. There he is. And then in the back, you see all like the bumps, uh, the strands of hair. Another Hot Topic exclusive I picked up, and there's two left out of my trip to Hot Topic. Uh, this one is from the DC Comics Bombshells line. And I gotta be honest, I wasn't particularly too keen on getting any of them. The, I'm interested in maybe the Harley Quinn one. Uh, the rest I really don't care about, except this one looked pretty cool. It is uh, the Hot Topic exclusive number 170. It's the Joker with kisses. There's Joker with the kisses. Uh, like the detail on it. Love the hair. The brightness of the green and the way they have it all like, you know, spiky and everything. Um, I like it. It's cute. It's got a hat holding the Joker. It's a cute little Joker pop, and I love anything with the Joker, so I had to grab that. There you go. Joker with kisses from the DC Bombshells line. All right, the last one I picked up at uh, Hot Topic when I had my hot cash a couple weeks ago. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. It is a two-pack. It is from Pop Disney. It is The Lady and the Tramp. And these are super adorable. <laughs> you got Lady, you got Tramp. That That's awesome. These are so cute. Such cute pops. They look just like the characters in the movie. It's why I love the Disney pops. These are awesome. This would be so great. I cannot wait to be able to display these when I get a house. I cannot wait to have all my... And when I do, I promise you guys, I will give you a full uh, tour collection shot of all my pops. I know I people have asked for probably the last year um, for that, and I've, I've been saying I will get it. Once I have everything on display, once we get a house, I will definitely show you a collection video. I know everybody probably wants to see my collection, and I'm kind of curious to see it as well, because uh, it's been boxed away and stored away for so long, I don't remember. Leading the trip up close, look how cute those are. So adorable. I would get these two dogs. If they look just like this, I would I would adopt them. Okay, we'll mix it up a little bit now, get out of the, the pop monotony until we go back to the pops and the dorbs. I'm gonna go into a Disney um, Infinity figure I picked up. We had Infinity for the Nintendo Wii. Um, we had a couple of these figures. I really like the figures more than the game, actually. The game, I don't really understand. Uh, but I found this one, it was on sale at Toys R Us. It was like six, five or six bucks. And I had to get it because he is my favorite, favorite uh, villain. From Marvel, it is Venom. I had to pick it up. And they have some really cool ones. I mean, I see Venom. I see the Hulk looks awesome. Uh, Captain America looks cool. Spider-Man looks great. Iron Man looks awesome. Thor looks awesome. Groot even and Star-Lord even look great. I got to find more of these. I actually do like these figures. That is just such an awesome figure. I know these are made for a video game, but people do collect them. And I think this is absolutely awesome. Great detail for a little figure. It's got the tongue sticking out, muscles all huge. Got the black suit with the white spider uh, logo going all around. He's standing on some concrete. That's great. I'm bringing him close so you get a better look. That is super awesome. I wonder if they have Carnage. And then I gotta find Spider Man. 
That'd be great. That is an awesome Disney Infinity figure. I like that a lot. Oh, love Venom. All right, next up we'll get into some Funko Shop Dorbs and, uh, that I picked up. Uh, first we'll get into a three set I picked up. They were uh, out of 4,000 pieces. They are the Dorbs. Uh, number 274, number 276, and number 275. They are from the Jetsons. I have Rosie Robot, Judy Jetson, and Jane Jetson. All right, so we have the three here. We have uh, Judy Jetson, which uh, my only complaint, it's a little smudge, like she's got some smudge marks on her. I'm gonna try to get them off, but wasn't really packaged in a great, great way. Uh, you know, whatever. Uh, we got uh, Rosie the Robot, which looks really cool. And we got Jane Jetson. So that's pretty cool. Look at that, there she is. And there's Rosie. And we got Judy. And you can see, if you can see, notice like some of the, the paint smudges right there and the top of her head right there. I, mean, I could probably try to work on getting that off, but I don't know. It seems like you pay for something, you want it in order, but maybe I'm just crazy. Next up, I'll go with my other uh, Funko Shop Dorbs I picked up. This is the only other one I have right now. It is a Dorbs Rides. It's number 20. It is from the Masters of the Universe. It is the He-Man with Battle Cat. And I know a lot of other uh, fellow YouTubers were getting it, putting up pictures, putting up videos. Uh, this thing looks awesome. That's awesome. That is so awesome. There's Battle Cat and then He-Man comes right out of it. So I got He-Man there. Pops into the saddle, and there he is on Battle Cat. He's on the Battle Cat. That is an awesome Dorbs. I don't know. Dorbs are starting to pick up. I know some people might think I'm crazy. Some people might not be into it. I'm starting to feel the Dorbs, especially certain ones I'm starting to feel. And this is an awesome Dorbs. Let me bring him close to that. This Dorbs reminds me of the old He-Man Battle Cat toy um, that had, he was like felt it was like flocked, I guess you would say now. It was like, and he had like the, uh, you could take this part off. And they had the same thing with uh, Skeletor's uh, Panther. I forgot the name. It was like purple. That's awesome. That's a great pop. That's a great pop ride. I like that a lot. Got two NECA figures, two pops, and a WWE Elite figure. I'll go into the WWE Elite figure, break it up a little bit. And this is again, my favorite all time WWE superstar. It is uh, the WWE Elite from WrestleMania, and I believe this was WrestleMania 12? Was it WrestleMania? Yeah, I think it was WrestleMania 12. His outfit from WrestleMania 12. It is Shawn Michaels when he won his first ever WWE Championship from Bret Hart in the 60-minute Iron Man match, which was phenomenal. Still to this day, probably my favorite Iron Man match ever. And that was a great moment being a Shawn Michaels fan because that's when he first won the title and he beat Bret Hart. Awesome. Let's get into this. That is so awesome. This is, I think this is like my fourth or fifth Shawn Michaels figure. And I absolutely love this one. They have a rubber band around him uh, holding the title over him. I'm going to leave it for now because I think that looks awesome. It's got him with the old school Eagle WWE Championship, which is like the only WWE Championship that I... I like the one now. The one on... Um, I liked it the one they had on SmackDown before I think they made a blue, like that old, the, the old WWE one, but this Eagle one is the one I grew up with, and that's the one I recognize as the WWE Championship. I actually made it a Legends Championship on my WWE 2K16 on Xbox, um, where I have like the old school Legend guys wrestle for it. But this is great. I love it. They have the tights that he wore. He's got the title. He's got that face. Just great detail on these elite figures. Absolutely. I love this. I love this. There you go. There he is. Shawn Michaels with his WWE Championship that he won at WrestleMania. I believe it was WrestleMania 12, if memory serves me. Um, where he beat Shawn Michael, uh, he beat Bret Hart in that 60-minute Iron Man match. Great match, great wrestler. Shawn Michaels was the best. I don't care what anybody says. That's great. And the articulation on these are great. I mean, his wrist moves, his elbow moves, his arm moves, his knee moves, his foot moves. Like he can move his feet. I mean, that's awesome. Great detail. Love the Elite figures. If you're a WWE fan, you definitely got to check out these Elite figures. So these two pops I picked up from, uh, one I actually picked up from Hot Topic, the other one I picked up from Barnes & Noble. The reason why I saved the Hot Topic one for now is because they go together. So the first one I got from Hot Topic is number 253 from the Disney Winnie the Pooh line. It is Piglet. Oh my God, it's so small, so light, but super cute. It's Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. Who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh and who doesn't love Piglet? That is so cute. 
Not much to say about it. I mean, it's basically a small little light piglet pop. All right, cool. And then the last pop for this 500th video unboxing, we have, again, it's from Winnie the Pooh. It's number 256. It's a Barnes & Noble um, exclusive. It's a Heffalump, and it is the one with the blue um, and pink stripes. And there you go. There's the cute little Heffalump. And it's got the, it's pink with the blue stripes. Very cute. Again, it's Disney. I know you're gonna get tired of me saying it, but I love the Disney pops. Now the last two figures are NECA. One of them I did take a little shot of, and I threw it up on my Instagram um, social media accounts. I think a couple weeks, maybe a week or two ago, when I got it. I know some people have been wondering what it is. I'm gonna open that one last. First, I'm gonna get into this one I picked up. It is from NECA, uh, Real Toys. It's a Dark Knight Joker figure. It is the Heath Ledger's Joker. Um, it looks awesome. Really detailed from what I could tell in the box. But I'm gonna get it open and we're gonna check it out. The box is cool, like when you take it out, it's got in the back like old newspapers and everything all over it with the Joker's, like he was writing all over it, ha ha ha. It's got the, the, the smile and the eyes and the back. It shows you um, a little bit about the uh, figure. It tells you about who made it. It's got some pictures there. That's really awesome. That is an awesome detailed figure. They have, it's the Heath Ledger Joker from The Dark Knight. He's got his purple uh, faded jacket on with his purple gloves. He's got the green vest with the tie and the purple shirt underneath. It's even got like a little gold chain that actually moves and looks like a gold chain. Purple pants, uh, articulation in the ankles, the knees, the elbow, the wrists, the arms, the head, the legs themselves can move. He comes with a couple weapons too. He comes with a gun that you could put in his hand. He comes with a little knife and he comes with like a machine gun, which I guess you could put in that hand, so that's pretty cool. I guess you could put it in that hand. Does this thing come off? I think this thing comes off, I guess. So, yeah. And he has a machine gun that you could put in his hand also. That's really cool. So there he is up close. Look at the detail on that. There's his machine gun, his regular gun, also comes with this Little knife you gotta be careful with, you might lose it. But look at the detail on the face. On the outfit, there's the chain that looks like an actual chain. Oh, that's awesome. I love, I love the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. I loved Heath Ledger as the Joker, and I wasn't even a fan of Heath Ledger when he was announced. All right, so we got the Joker NECA figure, which is really awesome. NECA makes some awesome figures, guys, if you haven't checked them out. Um, I actually found these two figures at my local Toys R Us. You can also check out Entertainment Earth. I have a link in my description for them. They sell a lot of NECA stuff. Um, yeah, NECA is pretty awesome. The last one I got here, again, this is a NECA, and it's Real Toys also. Real is R-E-E-L toys, like real, like a movie reel. And this is the one that I took a picture, a little snippet, a little picture, and I put it up on my social media, and people were wondering. And this is a NECA figure. It's Batman from the original 1989 movie, which Michael Keaton was in, and Jack Nicholson as the Joker. Um, on the back of the package, it shows the figure, and a little card here that I guess you could cut out if you want. Uh, it says, Batman defends Gotham streets against crime. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna open it up, because I'm excited, I wanna see what this is like. I love that movie. All right, so there's the figure. I, I love this, this reminds me of being a kid. I used to have the, um, I don't remember who made them. It might have been Hasbro or something, but they used to have like the old, uh, they were like this big, like not as big as this, like this big, and they had him, they had the Joker, they had the Joker's partner, you remember that guy that had like the long hair and the beard? They had, uh, did they have Alfred? They might have had an Alfred. I remember having those as a kid, but this is awesome. And again, points of articulation in the arms, uh, in the hands, the arm, the, sh the uh, elbows, feet, you got the, in the legs, you got the leg, the knee, and the ankles. The waist moves also. The only thing that doesn't move, I mean, it moves a little bit is his neck, but that's perfect because if you remember that 89 and even the sequel, Batman Returns, they might have made it a little better in that one. Remember, he couldn't like turn his neck. He had to move like his whole body to look at stuff. And it's kind of funny how they kind of made that 
Got the cloth cape, which is a nice touch. That's an awesome Batman. It's the black with the yellow symbol. He's got the yellow utility belt, the gold utility belt. He comes with a little grappling gun with the grappling. He comes with a batarang. And then he comes with two different um, hands uh, that are like fists. I guess, whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, I gotta find his other hand. I dropped it. I don't know where it went. But uh, let me bring him in close to show you up close. There he is. Looks just like the Michael Keaton Batman. He's got the cloth cape. The yellow and black Batman symbol. The gold utility belt. Very cool. And then I get, again, like I said, he comes with a grappling gun. Comes with a batarang. And then he has two... Or like fists. Sometimes these NECA figures come with extra hands and faces. Uh, I have another one, but I dropped it, and there's like a sea of empty boxes here, and I don't know where the little hand is. I'm sure it's somewhere. I'll have to find it. But there you go. That's my uh, Batman figure. That's awesome. Love it. Uh, so yeah, that was my uh, huge uh, Funko Pop, NECA, WWE, Dorbs, Disney Infinity unboxing video. Again, this is our 500th video on YouTube. We've been on YouTube almost two years. I want to thank you guys again for watching, for supporting the channel, for giving me your feedback. Thank you so much. It's greatly appreciated. Uh, again, we never thought anybody would be interested in our stuff, and it seems like you know some people like us and like what we're doing, so we greatly appreciate that. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. A lot of big things coming. Make sure to subscribe. Hit up that red subscribe button. Like the video. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Everyday Geek TV. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks again, guys. Adios.